Did you know that you can live without your stomach, your spleen, your gallbladder, a kidney, your appendix, but you cannot live without your liver? The liver. Why are we talking about that today? The liver is responsible for many, many functions in the body. It manages our blood sugar, it synthesizes hormones and disposes of hormones, uh, it manages our cholesterol. Um, the liver is primarily focused and known for its detoxification. It's like the filter of our blood. Our blood runs through the liver every 6 to 15 minutes depending on how fast you're moving or heart rate's beating. And it filters and manages the blood sugar that's in the blood. So if our liver is dysfunctional, we can develop all types of different type or different diseases, type 2 diabetes, cholesterol problems, uh, hormone problems, um, toxic overload, which spills over into the kidneys and in the skin, which causes skin problems like eczema and rashes and hives and different things. Random itchiness is a huge symptom of liver dysfunction. So what are the ways that we can take care of our liver? Well, the number one way that we can take care of our liver is actually to take the toxic burden off of our liver on a daily basis. So not just doing a quarterly detox or drinking a detox tea or something like that. We know this needs to be a daily practice of removing harmful substances and then also providing healing substances that take care and support the liver. So my point in this is to remove the toxins, number one. That's got to be the most important. And what is the most toxic substance, uh, food and drink-wise, that we can bog down our liver with? Alcohol. There's a reason why alcohol is called an intoxicant, or it intoxicates you, right? It is a toxic substance. In small quantities, a glass or two of wine, a couple times a week, can have a really good hormetic stress that actually provides the body with a lot of benefit. But alcohol consumed on a daily basis or in excess is a toxic substance that the liver has to process out. This is exactly why people get hung over if they drink too much. The liver is overburdened. Uh, it can't process out other toxins that it's doing on a daily basis, which by the way, we are exposed to more man-made chemical toxins than any other point in human history. Uh, we are more susceptible to those substances now than ever before. So you combine that with a night of over drinking and you're in a recipe for the next day to be low energy, to have a headache, to feel fatigued. Uh, so that's my number one is limit your alcohol consumption uh, one to three times per week, no more than one to three glasses per sitting. So one to three, one to three. Now, the other thing is we can remove processed food from the diet. There's many chemical additives to food to preserve it, to make it sit in a package for years. My analogy always is look at a Twinkie and an apple. They're about the same carbs, the same calories. Uh, the, the vast difference between them is not only just the nutrient and mineral content, but it's also that Twinkie can sit on a shelf for years. Years it can sit on a shelf. The apple cannot. So it's the preservatives in that food that allow it to stay in that package without molding and decomposing. So those chemical preservatives that are in a lot of our processed foods bog down the liver, which is why people who eat a whole lot of processed sugary food, it bogs down the liver, creates, creates fatty liver, and they develop type two diabetes. So that's my number two, ditch the processed sugary foods, sodas, sweeteners, all that stuff that can bog down the liver. Number three, and I'll leave it at that for today so I don't get too long-winded. My number three is to remove toxic chemicals from your life. This could be cleaning products, it could be cosmetic products, uh, it could be taking more precautions when you're painting or using polyurethane or any type of man-made toxic chemical. Be really overly cautious with what you clean your house with. Uh, you're exposing your whole family, your pets, your kids, the people you love to toxic chemicals if you're not being aware. Which, by the way, you can look this up. 
there is no regulation process whatsoever for the FDA to approve different household cleaning chemicals. That means that they basically govern themselves on what they deem is harmful or not. So huge word of caution. Everywhere you can use essential oils, uh, use natural cleaning products like vinegar, things like that. Um, it may not suds up like it, like uh, the, the soapy stuff does. It may not smell as amazing as Febreze or whatever you think smells amazing. I don't know. I, I think it's horrible. But So that's my tips for removing toxic burden from the liver, keeping your liver happy. I promise you if you do these things, keep your liver happy, you will lose weight, you will burn more fat, you will drop overall inflammation in the body, which also sheds water weight. You'll sleep better, your hormones will be better, digestion will be better, all from taking care of your liver. Learn from me, I had to learn this the hard way uh, over the years. Take care of your liver. There's a reason why it's called the liver. Zach with Muscles and Veggies, if you like this video, hit the like button. Share it with somebody else who's you know struggling with their health uh, and may need a, a boost for the day. And subscribe for more quick tips like this from Zach from Muscles and Veggies. Have a good day.